Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did question number 8 from exercise 9.5 and the topic was graphs of absolute value trigonometric functions only one question is left in this exercise that is question number nine which we will do in today's class but before I start today's lecture I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is add math watch previous lectures then you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number 9 exercise 9.5 you can see on the screen question number 9 the equation 3 cos x minus 2 absolute value is equals to k has two roots for the intervals from 0 to 2, 2 pi find the possible values of k so first we have to let the equation 3 cos x minus 2 absolute value is equals to k first we have to let this equation is equals to y y is equals to 3 cos x minus 2 now we have to uh, uh, we have to make the table for x and y values and draw the graph but I did one mistake over here that is I took degrees but the question is in radians so this is pi by 2 this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi similarly okay now take your calculator convert your calculator in radian mode write in your calculator 3 cos 0 minus 2 you will get 1 then 3 cos pi by 2 minus 2 you will get minus 2 then 3 cos pi minus 2 you will get minus 5 then 3 cos 3 pi by 2 minus 2 you will get minus 2 then 3 cos 2 pi minus 2 you will get 1 and now sketch the graph and I will correct this angles also because our question is in radian mode so this is pi by 2 this is pi 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi now for 0 the value is 1 this is the point for pi by 2 the value is minus 2 but because we are doing work in absolute values function so this minus 2 should be plus 2 ok so this goes to over here and for pi the value is minus 5 this should be plus 5 this should be plus 5 this is the point 3 pi by 2 minus 2 this should be plus 2 and for 2 pi the value is 1 join all these points here we go and this is also some yes so this is the graph of y is equals to 3 
cos x minus 2 absolute valued function and we have to find the values of k k is equals to 3 cos x minus 2 so if you compare both the equation if you assign the name of the equation is equation number 1 and equation number 2 you can see that y is equals to k so range of values of k should be from 1 to 5 so you can write the values of k from 1 to 5 what was the question question is find the possible values of k so these are the possible values of k from 1 to 5 it means the values of k should be greater than 1 and less than 5 so I hope you completely understand this question it is very easy question number 9 what is left in this exercise nothing is left so we have successfully finish question number 9 in today's lecture also we have successfully finished this exercise 9.5 we did each and every question and each and every part of this exercise what next exercise 9.6 in this exercise we will be solving trigonometric equations by means of graph and without the help of graph very easy exercise how many questions in this exercise question number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten questions I promise you I will do each and every question and each and every part of this exercise just like my past experience I always do each and every question and each and every exercise each and every part that is why I proudly says there is no YouTube channel there is no YouTube channel in the world who provides complete lectures of ad math except my channel so students kindly help me how can you help me you can help me by subscribing my channel and sharing my videos to all of your friends as many friends as you can okay students good luck for next lecture